So what do most people bring to the transfer station? Well, they bring a lot of their domestic rubbish that they've collected at home, a lot of recyclables, um, cardboard, polystyrene there's a lot of on weekends. Uh, through the week it's a bit different because of the tradies, they'll bring a lot of building materials in, bricks, concrete, stuff like that, which all needs to be sorted. So what can people bring here for free? For free? Well, we've got our e-waste, which is tallies at the moment. We're there for free. I don't know how, for how long, but uh, there's an amnesty at the moment. Computers, computer parts. There's paints in our detox centre. We've got our batteries, car batteries, gas cylinders, fluorescent lights. Cardboard's free, polystyrene's free. Plastics, all plastic, hard plastics and that are free at the moment, which people don't know. If people bring in their bricks and concrete, what happens with that? Well, they'll bring it in, we'll charge them to take it down the back, they'll drop it off and once we get a certain amount in, we'll get the big crusher in and they crush it up and we resell it as a crushed brick product uh, as well to the public, which sells well. well. They use it for their gardens, uh, driveways, bog areas. We've got our crushed concrete as well, that's got a lot of dust in it, a lot of people use it for different things, driveways mainly. At the moment they're building a fixing a road up, they're taking I think 200 metres out of here yesterday, so it all gets recycled. What happens with all the green waste that people bring in? We send it off to Western Compost and they take it all, they heat treat it, yeah, it all gets sent off and recycled, all gets reused. Can you buy that here? You can buy it here. A trailer, trailer load. load of mulch? Yeah, at any time of the week, as long as they bring a cover as yeah. well, it's all got to be covered before it goes. What do you sell at the transfer station? Well we sell um, crushed rock, crushed brick, uh, pine chips, all our pallets, they all get chipped up as well and we sell it as bark for the gardens, uh, the mulch basically. Then we send a lot of stuff down to our resource centre which we open every weekend and we resell a lot of stuff people have thrown out that are still good. What someone's trash is someone else's treasure. How can people save money? Well not having contaminated loads, if they, they load their trailers properly, if they can put all their cardboard in one part all their concrete or the domestic rubbish in another. We'll take out what we know that we're not going to charge them for and we'll only charge them for what rubbish is going in the bin. Otherwise, if it's mixed, we have to charge them for all of it going in the bin because we can't sort it when it's all mixed in together. So sorting them is going to save them a lot of money through the gate. If people can actually sort their loads, that'll then reduce the amount that goes into landfill? Is oh right? yeah, we, we can... Um, we can bring it back by about 60% some loads. Like if we get a trailer in and if we can get it on a table to sort it properly, it'll, it'll break it down. We'll only probably put 40% of rubbish in the bin and the other 60% we can salvage one way or another through the recycling or selling down at the shop.